Hi, this is Miss Lee, and today I'm going to talk with you about solving one-step equations using models. Okay, first I'd like for you to go ahead and take a look at this picture. You'll see that there's number balls on both sides of the scale, and pause the video and determine which number ball is missing from the right side. When you have your answer, come back and check. Did you guess four? If you did, great job. On the left side, we have a total of 14, but we only had a 10 ball on the right side, and we need the right to stay in balance with the left, to stay equal to the left, so you needed to add a four ball. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try this one. Okay, if you added them all up, you should have gotten 19 on the left side, which means we needed to add a five ball to the right side. Did you get five? Good job. Okay, so if a scale is balanced, that means that it has equal amounts on both sides, both on the left and the right side. So we can think of the center of the scale as being an equal sign. Okay, so here we have the left side, the right side, and the center is our equals. And we sometimes draw this line to represent the equal sign. When you're ready to solve equations with models, it's always easier to write the equation that's being modeled. So this is using algebra tiles. We have one x tile. We have three positive unit tiles. This is our equal line, our equal sign. And we have four positive units on the right. So our, equa our equation is x plus three equals four. To solve an equation means to find the value of the variable. To find the value of the variable, you need to isolate the variable. First, you have to get the x alone. Okay? We have three unit tiles. We have to do something to remove those three unit tiles so that x is by itself. If the operation being performed on the side of the variable is addition or subtraction, then you need to make zero pairs to cancel the units so that the variable is then isolated. If you'll recall, we learned about zero pairs when we were doing integers. When we were learning to combine integers, a positive and a negative make a zero pair. Okay, so that's what we want to do here. We need to make zero pairs. You can't just erase the three. You have to make zero pairs. So if there are three positives, I need to have three negatives to cancel out the three positives. But don't forget, this is a scale. It has to stay balanced. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing. Since I added three negatives to the left side, I have to add three negatives to the right side. Now I'm still in balance. And now you're ready to remove the zero pairs. You can loop them and pull them out, or you can cross them out. and you're left with x equals 1. Now there's just one step left. We need to substitute the x value we just got back into our equation and determine if the two sides are equal. So my equation was x plus 3 equals 4. If I substitute 1, because we solved it, x equals 1, substitute 1 for x, and if I add it to my 3, does it make 4? Yes, it does. So we solved it correctly. Good job. So let's try another example. First thing we want to do is write our equation. The equation is x plus 2 equals 6. And now we're just going to go through our steps. We need to isolate the variable. So we're adding two positive units. We have to make zero pairs to eliminate those. So if those are two positives, we need two negative units. And we have to be fair, what you do on the left side, you're going to have to do on the right side because you have to make sure your scale is in balance. All right, and now we're ready to remove our zero pairs. So I'm going to remove those two zero pairs, and then I have two zero pairs on the right. And it's going to leave me the x tile is equal to positive 4 units. And I didn't explain this, but instead of using a scale, we're now going to use what we call an algebra mat. And basically, it's just like a rectangular box with a line down the center. 
the line down the center represents the equal side. Okay, therefore, the left side is the left side of your equation. The right side represents the right side of your equation. And now, we're not done yet. We need to go back and check to make sure we solved it correctly. So we're going to take our equation, x plus 2 equals 6, and we're going to substitute the value we just got for x, the 4. We're going to replace the x with the 4 and check our equation. Is it true? 4 plus 2, does that equal 6? Yes, it does. So we solved it correctly. Okay, let's try another one. Let's write our equation. This time, instead of having positive units with the x, we have negative units. So m is our variable. Minus 4 is equal to, because this line in the middle of our mat represents the equal sign, and we have negative 7 on the right side. Again, to solve it, we have to isolate the variable, get it by itself. It's not alone, it has four negatives. So we have to make zero pairs and do four positives. So draw your four positive unit tiles. Okay, if you look, our scale is still not in balance. Okay, it's out of balance. When we added the four positive unit tiles on the left, we have to then make sure to add four positive unit tiles on the right so that our scale stays in balance. Okay, once we're back in balance, we can remove our zero pairs. So I'm going to cross out those four, and I'm going to cross out these four. And I'm left with m, which is our algebra, our x tile, is equal to negative 3. Okay, one more step. We need to check it. Let's substitute our answer, the negative 3, for m in our equation. So negative 3 minus 4, that should equal negative 7, does it? Well, remember, when you're combining integers, look at their signs. If the signs are the same, just add them up and keep the sign. So negative 7 is correct. We solved this equation correctly. And now you're ready to move on to the second video to learn how to model one-step multiplication and division equations.